This is our cleaning cupboard, which has got into a bit of a pickle. We keep the extension leads in there as well, um, but there's about six in there and that's too many. We don't use all of them, so I will probably get rid of about four. I will put them together as a bundle on my selling platform. Down the bottom, some of my mum's stuff again has been dumped in there. There's a kettle, which I wanna make sure that it's working. If it is, we'll probably keep it as a spare one. Um, there's also a water heater there, which uh, again, I will check if it's working. Um, that one can probably go. I've got my little plant watering can in there as well. Um, but we've accumulated a lot of rag as well. There's a bag on the door there. Um, so what I'm actually gonna do with all this rag is my mum's old bin, I've cleaned it, and I'm just gonna pop the whole lot in there. And then it's so much easier can just open it, grab a piece of rag. I'm not usually a dumper, but circumstances being different this year, it's just got into a bit of a mess. So I'm literally just gonna dump all of these in here. In fact, I think we've gathered so much, I'm not even sure there's <laughs> gonna be enough room in here. Um, so I think what we'll have to do, I've got mum's little bin as well. But I might just put the rest in there. It's all just rags that we can use for windows or working down the front door or whatever cleaning really. The other thing I'm going to keep in a proper bag rather than in a carrier bag is we keep zip bags because um, if you've got something nasty that you want to get rid of, it's just easy to put it in there, zip it up and then chuck it in the rubbish. Our lovely cat Leo bought a rat home the other day. Um, he left it under the camper van and I found it with loads of maggots, which was disgusting. So uh, it doesn't do that very often, but we've got a little woods behind us. So, um, you know, inevitably cats do do that. So it's, I say, it's easy. Just <laughs> pick it up and put it straight in there and then it's disposed of properly. And then that can hang on the door. Um, and the other thing that we've got hanging on the door, this blue um, container has got um, carrier bags in so you can just pull one out from the bottom so that's the only thing or things that need to be on the door and then it's not all sticking out so it's nice and tidy so I've sorted out the extension leads there's three there that I'm gonna sell as a bundle this is an old uh, wrap that you put around wire it's just got left in there she's old um, so that can go um, I kept this small extension one which I'll probably put down in my studio um, but we've literally just got two long extension leads in there when we clean the cars out the front we use the pressure washer and so we need those two long ones for that so I'll keep those um, I've got spare dishwashing tablets in here so there's only about a quarter of a box left in there now so I'm going to put those under the sink with the rest of them and then the hoover um, that will stay in there so that's, that'll be okay where it is. These are old attachments in here for a carpet cleaner. Um, we kept them because the carpet cleaner had broken and we just thought that they might be useful, but we haven't used them so they can go. This is the final result for cleaning my cupboard out, my cleaning cupboard. So up here I've got my laundry liquid, I've got my cleaning vinegar and then there's carpet cleaner behind there, the, the dark blue bottles and then I've got fridge filters behind there in the box and then a couple of fly sprays and then I've got a Febreze which as I say I just we bought that because we spilled something in the car that polish remover was my mum's. I've just kept it because you can get glue off, of, off with it. And then I've got a disinfectant, a window cleaner, and a couple of polishes. I've just got, in that little box, I've just got some tapes and an Allen key and some string. And then that's toilet distillers in there. They're just tablets that you pop into the loo. And then behind there, I've got a liquid uh, drain and blocker. And then I've got washing up liquid sorry, that's in there. and cream cleanser and bleach and then we've got WD-40, there's our little tool panel if we need something quickly and then we've got a couple of dustpan and brushes and a couple of brooms down there 
We have got three mops, um, and then I've got three feather dusters here. And then that's my watering can. In here I've got oil for my lovely worktops that my partner built, uh, made me. They're oak and so they have to be oiled. And I did go through this. I got rid of the old carpet cleaner tools and the tools in there now are just for the hoover here. There's my big uh, rag bin. The, the other little one I um, put in the garage so that it can be used outside because um, there was rather a lot in here. There's my um, mop bucket and a little bowl. And then that's the little battery pot in that bag. I did decide to keep my mum's kettle. Um, I descaled it. I don't usually keep spares of kettles and things, but um, we've had our kettle over a long time and it'll be sod's law that I'll get rid of this one <laughs> and the hours will go, so I've kept it. That's all kitchen roll, as you can see. And then that's all car stuff in there. That's mainly my son's in there. And then I've got all my cloths and dusters and things. That's the gloves that was left. My mum's they're coming useful for something rather than just chucking them. This is plant feed. We've got a couple of Scotch guards. Um, the ready lifter is brilliant. And then up there we've got, behind we've got spare bulbs and there's some timers in there as well. And then we've just got, this is all shoe polish stuff, dusters and brushes. And then as you can see there, we've got our recycling bags, dustbin bags. So I'm quite pleased with it. It's a little bit full down the bottom, but you know, at the end of the day, it's a storage cupboard and it all fits in there and it's tidy and everything is to hand. So it's easy. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will see you next week. Bye for now.